Hey gang, it's the average guy here, coming at you again with a little something different today. Um, I was busy making my regular meatloaf, and wonderful wife said, you should make a YouTube video about how you do your basket weave of bacon on top of your meatloaf. So we decided we'd give it a shot. So this is what the finished product generally looks like. And this is a pan that I just like to lay a couple of bacon strips in the bottom so that the meat doesn't stick to the bottom. You don't really have to do that. There's going to be plenty of fat, but um, it just gives you that little advantage. So we're going to slide over here and take a look at the basket woven meatloaf, or the, pardon me, the basket woven bacon. And all I really do is I, I pull every other strip back, get myself a new strip of bacon, lay it in, and then I just reset those strips and then you go to your opposite row, right? And you lay in <laughs> another strip, right? Boom, boom, and you reset. And then you go back to the first row you were doing, pull them back, and you lay in another strip. And then you have this nice basket weave that's ready for you to lay your meatloaf on top. And I just so happen to have prepared Almost like I'm like Rachel Ray, get your EVOO, right? I happen to have a nice slab of meatloaf that's ready to go just for conversational sake. This is meatloaf mix, so it's 30% beef, 30% pork, 30% veal. Yes, we love baby cow here. Um, onions, garlic, oregano, parsley, breadcrumbs, and eggs to hold it all together. So you just take this and boom, lay it down on top of your basket weave, right? Try to get it spread out even, and then just pull your basket weave. This is again why you don't really need the bacon in the bottom of the pan because you sometimes end up with bacon wrapped around the bottom of your meatloaf. It's all nice and basket woven. And if I gently pick this up and roll it over, there you go. You've got a basket woven meatloaf ready to go and it fits perfectly in a regular size loaf pan. And then all I'll do is take these and throw them in the oven at 350 for about an hour. You probably wanna put a pan under them because there's gonna be a lot of fat, a lot of juice coming out of there. And with um, four pounds of meatloaf mix, I end up with two full-size meatloafs and one little meatloaf that I'll give to mom and dad so they can have a treat this week. So there it is, the basket woven meatloaf a la average guy. Um, this would get the big guy seal of approval. Big guy loves anything that's got a lot of meat in it. <laughs> so we, we get the stamp of approval. So holler at us if you have any questions or comments, but this is how we do meatloaf at uh, Big Guy Reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.